when Jesus conducted meetings for thousands of people, he didn't conduct in a five-star hotel. It was a wilderness. It was totally a wilderness. Three days, not even food. And Jesus was a lamba preacher. Very long preacher. Sometimes when Jesus begins to preach and teach, he will forget where he is. Because he will not be moved by people, he will be moved by God's love. Compassion. Tears for people. Every time he looked at people, his heart will melt like snow. That's a mark of a man of God. When you stand before people, you are not fit. Your heart must cry for people. One day the Lord told me, Ezekiel, never pronounce doom for people. Jesus, you know, he looked at Jerusalem and he said, Oh, unto you. Ayo, Jerusalem. Oh, unto you. What is in Hindi? One, see. Hi. 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 But the thing is, he said, Ayo, Jerusalem. And one day the Holy Spirit told me in my younger days, Ezekiel, before I pronounce judgment over Jerusalem, do you remember I cried so loudly like a baby? People could hear me from a far distance. Jesus cried before raising Lazarus. It was a silent tear but inner groaning. You death, you took my people. I didn't create man to die. I create man to live like me. But you brought death with that anger. He was inner agitated like a horse, you know, horse. When it is agitated, <laughs> Like that he felt inside and the tears rolled. And people said how much he loves Lazarus. But when he looked at Jerusalem, it was not a silent tears. He cried so loudly. Some people say, I don't like emotionalism. I don't like emotion. Some people are too emotional. If you have, if you don't like, then you are a dead body. If you want silent worship, go to the graveyard. There will be total silence. So you, maybe you are a Ezekiel, go to the graveyard and preach. Even there when a prophet goes, the emotions will come. He cried so loudly. And he said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. It would be better if you remember the days of your peace. See, he cried. Then you said, you will be surrounded by enemies. Today, preachers, many of the preachers are not really preachers. They are butchers. And they ask me, why Anna? They are not moved by the Spirit. He is a spirit of love. He is a compassionate God. When he looks at people, see when I see, I can see thousands. But when God looks at, he knows your struggle. He knows where you are going. 
you know how you came hopelessly how you came walking to the pundi you had no energy inside i talk about spiritual energy you came he knows how many dreams you had all shattered you are like a body without life you do ministry but there is no passion there is no moving in the spirit you try to move by your gimmicks you don't have the spirit to carry people and shake he looks at everything and he wants to talk to his people and he took so much time the the bible says when he saw the multitude he was moved with compassion passion everybody say passion compassion is a hallmark of your preacher if you don't have passion if you don't have your passion take a vacation go to the room get back god's emotion that passion then go without passion your ministry cannot shine get it back ministry is for people with their passion not for comfort so what happened jesus started preaching he never preached by the notes because he never prepared <laughs> he was a prepared vessel katharala rahasha full of the holy ghost full of god the father deep fellowship with the father every given time he will climb the mountain he will go to the garden he will go to the place spend time with god with whom you spend most of your time you will become like that person when you spend time with god you become like him more and more outside outside the inside so he is a ready vessel he didn't prepare a sermon i am not against preparing a sermon i am against people coming and here and jumping and saying alleluia alleluia i am not for that i am not for that that's not pentecost that is some other cast empty cast just shouting ah oo dum dum that's not i am talking a yeah, sower must sow the seed a yeah, sower must sow the seed not weed god's word he must speak god's word not just hollering jumping shouting sing not that i'm not talking about that but be a passionate man let passion fill you when you think about your congregation let tears flow that's a passion when that comes your ministry takes a new turn that comes that comes by with your open bible reading and god speaks to you and the bible melts you and the tears flow through you i tell you every time i read bible i took my bible i am of course i am a lutheran boy from my childhood my mummy taught us bible scriptures my daddy sang all the lyrics so that was there but when i fell in love with jesus when i was a 13 or 14 years old bible became my most precious love letter from my god to me tell me how much you re- love the bible i tell you how much you love jesus because jesus and bible cannot be separated in the beginning was the word the word was god the word was god and the word became flesh 
that is our Lord Jesus. Everybody say, in the beginning was the Word. Word was with God. And the Word was God. Early years, I used to be a praying man. All the time praying, praying, closing my eyes, begging, 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 begging. If I beg more, I used to think I become very highly spiritual. If I, <laughs> Lord, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy upon India. <laughs> and God will say, uh -huh, I don't have mercy. You are pushing me to have mercy. So, you know, I was in Odisha at that time. I was a very young minister. So evening I have to preach. And I am kneeling down and praying for souls, praying for power, praying for authority, praying for glory, praying for people to be changed. I tell you, all those prayers are nonsense. You don't need to pray for power. When hour came, power came. When God came, power came. When God came, authority came. When God came, glory came. But I will tell you, it took many years for me to understand. If, if you ask me, Anna, did you receive Jesus? Yes. When Anna? When I was 14. Very good. Power Anna, pray. Anna, did you receive the Holy Spirit? Yeah, 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 yeah. When Anna? When I was 16 years old. Very good. Did you receive power, Anna? I am fasting and praying. That was my prayer. As usual, I was praying and getting ready. One of my secret, I spend time, quality time with God before I come to meet people. If you have no time for God, please don't give time to people. You cannot bless them. So, in my days, college days, if somebody asks me, give you a special song. I don't know how I learned, where I learned. Special song, one song. For that, I used to pray for two, three hours to sing one song. And that one day I sang a song. Suddenly I started crying. People started crying. Holy Spirit fell on the people. It became like a funeral house. Everybody screamed. That only launched my ministry to the public. I never asked anybody, invite me. I am available. I never told anybody, I have gifts of the Holy Spirit, use me. I never asked anybody, please invite me to America. If I go, don't go to America, I cannot sit here, America. Some people, ministry credibility means, I went to Canada, I went to Dubai. If you don't go abroad, you are not a successful man. I never wrote anyone all my life, invite me, use me. It's a passion. It's your time with God. It's your open heart, yielded vessel, believing heart, word-filled life that opens the door everywhere. I don't pray for open door. Many times in the younger days, I prayed, shut the door. I started narrowing down my ministry only to train. So I stopped going for convention, conferences, big, big meetings. Um, oh, then the pastors will write, we are organizing 10 churches together for a convention. And we prayed, the Holy Spirit told, invite Ezekiel Francis. 
and my I have to say the Holy Spirit told me not to go for conference <laughs> like that every day we have to write letters to the pastors and leader no Anand is not coming for that Ezekiel is not coming for that he's focusing training he's focusing uh, equipping the leader he doesn't go because his time is only to focus that so for a man of God real man of God open door is not a problem Open door will be a problem. Too many invitation and people will be very angry. Huh? You won't give appointment, huh? protocol huh? to reach that. <laughs> Did Jesus give you protocol? Did he not meet everybody? Yes. Why Ezekiel doesn't meet everybody? Jesus died in 33. <laughs> I have to live some more years. <laughs> So, in Odisha, I was praying, 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 praying. When I pray, the Bible scriptures come to my heart. When you pray in tongues, please watchful. When you pray in tongues, be tuned. When you pray in tongues, Shanda, Tanda, 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 Tanda. That is not tongues, a language. Papa, Tata, 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 Katavandi. Katavandi mantra. Bullock cart. Eh? Bullock cart. Tata, tata, tata. I tell you, you must keep growing, 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 growing. Don't stop! Don't stop! The Bible says, forbid not. Forbid not means don't stop me. Bible says, enlarge your tent. Enlarge your tent. Enlarge your anointing. Enlarge your ministry. Enlarge your church growth. Enlarge with the power of God. Enlarge. Lengthen your card. You leave the card. How much, Lord? I won't tell you how much. Enlarge! 100 feet? 1000 feet? Mm -hmm. Enlarge! How much? As much as you want. Ministry is for people who are hungry for more, not for people satisfied. You know what's my prayer for satisfied people? They are satisfied, Lord, take them to heaven. Can I tell you, if God comes into this auditorium now, the most hungry man who is here in the auditorium, I think he will pick me up as the first hungry man. If you say, no, Anna, I, come on, let us shake hands. I am dissatisfied. I am satisfied with Jesus, but I am dissatisfied with my growth. The Bible says, before the foundation of the world, what God has prepared for you. He prepared before the foundation of the world, what he has prepared for you, your eyes have not seen. Your ears never heard, even we didn't preach fully. It never entered into the heart and imagination of anybody so much. Only the Holy Spirit, when you walk with him every day, he will say, there is a depth of love, there is depth of glory, there is depth of power you have not seen. Can I take you? Can I take you? You say, yes, Holy Spirit. 
Yes, Holy Spirit, take me higher. Hala raha tora bhata ralaba, yoko tora ralaba hata. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful God. Everybody, God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love. Is so wonderful, oh wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So deep, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around it. Oh wonderful love. Everybody say, Father, thank you for what did you did in my life. For all you did in my life. Thank you for what you did through my life. Thank you for what you did through my life. But I tell you, Lord. I tell you, Lord. I don't want to be satisfied. I don't want to be satisfied. 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 With the ministry. With the ministry. Satisfied. Satisfied. With the level of anointing. With the level of anointing. Satisfied. Satisfied. With my holiness level. With the, my holiness level. He's a curse. He's a curse. I break that curse. I break that curse. I want. I am hungry. I am hungry. I am thirsty. I am thirsty. More, 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 more. So high, you can't get over it. So deep, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around it. Oh, wonderful love. Amen. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. God's plan is so wonderful. God's plan. Is so wonderful, God's plan is so wonderful, oh wonderful plan. Everybody, so high, you can't get over it, so high, you can't get over it, so high, you can't get over it, oh. Wonderful plan, so deep you can't get under it. So deep you can't get under it. So deep you can't get under it. Oh, wonderful plan, so wide you can't get around it. So. Tell you, the satisfaction is a curse for a man of God and a woman of God. Some people are very satisfied with salvation. Some people, ah, I received the Holy Spirit. I pray in tongue. What you pray? Ta 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 ta. ta. Satisfied for ten years, twenty years. Some people, little bit gift operation. <laughs> I tell I, I, I call the name, I call the name. Some people, 
satisfied. Some people, <laughs> I don't want all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I have love, joy, peace, long suffering, fruit of the Spirit, finished. Some people, how many believers? 200! When somebody says 200, I want to. The Bible says, the Bible says, Arise, shine, your light has come, not will come. Your light has come. When Yeshu came, light came. Light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. That's the blessing. The result of the blessing, small one shall become thousands. See the first word says, arise, shine, the light has come, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The last word, 22, everybody shout, a little one, little one, everybody, a little one, a little one, shall, 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 100% guarantee. Amen. Not may. Not may. A small one. A small one. Shall. Shall. Become. Become. Thousand. Thousand. And, and everybody and, and a small one. A small one. A small one. A small one. A strong nation. A strong nation. Imagine. Imagine your church believers are like a whole city. Ask somebody, why not? Why not? Why not? He says, I, the Lord, will hasten it, speed it up in its time. Up to that time, don't be satisfied. Keep pushing, keep running, keep The Bible says, the path of a righteous man. Every believer, when you received Jesus, you received his righteousness. Not your righteousness. Your path, the way of a righteous man shines more, 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 more. And to the perfect sun. Meaning, the sun shines, you know, what time it shines at its best. Ten o'clock shines, eleven o'clock shines, twelve. Climax, twelve. When it comes to the perfect, twelve. 12, 12, it, it shines brightest. When the 12 come, chariot will come to take you to heaven. And God will say, Ezekiel, you are shining, shining, shining. Now you have reached the highest. Now you are not fit to be in this world. Come to the glory land. God's plan is so wonderful. God's plan is so wonderful. God's plan is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful plan. So high, you can't get over it. So deep. You can't get under it so wide. You can't get around it 
One day you will say, Ezekiel now said that word. At that time I didn't understand. Now I understand. I thought very, very pretty small plan. You know what was my plan in my younger age? I wanted to become a doctor. I thought doctor means each one of you have such a... Now I have operated so many tumors without even touching my hand. There was a time I was singing and the tumors disappeared. Poor doctors, they have to cut and smell. I feel pity for all of you. Then I wanted to become a bank manager. Don't be satisfied with this business. God is calling you for His divine business. So high, you can't get over it. So deep, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around it. Can I tell you, I am a very, very helpless preacher. When I come to preach, I want to teach you so many points. I come here, the wind takes over me. If he says, sing a song, I can sing three hours, four hours, same song, and I can go to my room. Mara kam katam. You know why? I learned to become a feather in the wind. Some pastors feather a iron rod pillar in the wind. The Holy Spirit moves. He will say, mm -hmm, eight point. And the wind moves this side. Four finished, still four more. You know, to sing like this, to talk whatever I like to talk, I have to die. You know why? What you will think that the, the preachers are here. This fellow didn't prepare anything. He sings and dances and... I have to die. I read Bible more than many of you. I don't read chapter by chapter, I read book by book. I can show you how much I know the Bible. What's the use? I know, I know we have more days. I will pack you with God's word. I am, I am a very strong believer in the word of God. Word is life. My word is spirit and life. Jesus said it. The more you preach the word, the more you release the life. The more you release the life, the more you release the spirit. So in Odisha, let us go back to Odisha. In Odisha, I was praying, praying, praying. When I pray, especially, I pray more in new divine language than with my language. That's my habit. If I pray three hours, two hours, 45 minutes, only Shanda Hatlo, Plepra, Hatrabel, Hatta, Lavisko, Namahatra, Loho, Klebrea, Kotriman, Savri, Loho, Trebel, Katta. Sometimes beginning very dry, bore lakta hai, mouth pain. 
katrilo sa papahatala, mahatala sa patala ba hatala sa ta. It's like a pushing a bullock cart or a breakdown car. But when I persist in that, a time come, the Holy Spirit completely takes over me. Then my language changes. Why people don't go to new, new language? They don't have a stay time for that. You don't need to, you don't need to shout. Sometimes I can't shout. To get up from bed, sometimes it looks like going into the moon. You know, how many years I am in the field, you don't know. More than half a century. So, sometimes, But I will not stop. Abba, hala sapa. Abba, hadra balsa. Sepa hatha sapa hatha la sapa. 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 Ya hatola la bahato, sikata la bahata la saka. Ya hatola la barahanda. Hey, please understand, ministry takes every bit of your life. You are calling, you are calling. If you are an apostle, if you are a prophet, if you are a teacher, or a pastor, or an evangelist, that takes every bit of your life. It takes you the entire time. When God calls you, He fit it according to your time, how many years you will live. For that He packed. If you can't do this for one or two hours, then what growth, what growth you expect? You expect a magic to come to Baraka and come. There is a fresh anointing here. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Fresh anointing. Fresh. Come here. This eve. Ama, ama. You won't pray. You will be with a cell phone. You will come to me. I will sell. Anna. Impartation and what I should do. So many hands are laid on your head. You lost weight, uh, hair. You know, in Baraka, I never touch. Only for deliverance of the Holy Spirit. Finished. When the Holy Spirit comes, there is nothing comes out of me. Everything is inside. There is no new anointing, old anointing, fresh anointing, stale anointing. Come, come, come here. Receive! <laughs> I have seen people falling, 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 many meetings, and go back home, falling, falling into sin. Hey, Christian life, the Bible says, exercise thyself unto godliness. Deva bhakti ki yedu vaha muyarchi panne. Exercise yourself unto godliness. That's my habit. I pray in tongues for many hours. 
all my staff there is nobody come here and stand they don't pray in tongues my wife when she doesn't talk i don't know when i go benita how are you benita shata le peto to pita to pita you had stomach pain how is it tatu to tala pata la pa pa tala pa ta ka la pa 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 ka tala la Paul the great apostle who wrote two third of the new testament Paul's revelation from heaven revelation of God's word Peter says I can't understand Paul's revelation Peter was a senior most Paul was a junior most he had so much revelation You know what he says Corinthians Corinthians those days in the early church minimum one church will have 30000 believers not like 30 30 how many believers 30 40 first 200 ta sorry can i hurt you uh, am i hurting you no i want to hurt you understand see understand paul says you corinthians thousands of people you are all there you are all longing for the gifts of the holy spirit but i tell you one thing i single man pray in tongues divine language more than all of you put together khata khata la 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 imagine if 30 believers pray half an hour daily 30000 believers 15000 hours paul say ha, 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 i single man pray in tongues more than all of you am i giving you some keys how you can be released in the spirit i can give you many scriptures i come afterwards he said it and he says <laughs> when you pray in the new language divine language when i pray in tongues i don't speak to men but to god everybody say you are man of god man of god talks talks more to god more to god than to people than to people amen you are man of god speak more to god than to people everybody say yeah, yeah I, man of I, god i want you i want you to tell it to me ha huh? yeah man of god speak more to god than to people the question how to talk more to god more to people easy because how are you you will say anna i am fine anna i love you anna you will say it maza aa raha hai baat karne ke liye anga epude jesus i love you i love you i love you i love you kaise baat kar sakta wo kuch bhi bol nahi bolta hai kaise main zyada parmeshwar ke sath bahut karna the easiest way is hatilo sapre pakanda akat ruble bela hal
What happened? It become your lifestyle. By praying in tongue, you pray more to God than to people. God's plan is so wonderful. God's plan is so wonderful. God's plan is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful plan. So high, you can't get over it. So high, you can't get under it. So Young boys, young girls, you don't know what kind of plans God has for you. You didn't come by mistake. God brought you here. God has so much higher plan. You wanted a kind of husband for you. But God says, my plan for your husband is very high. Every failure shows you there is a higher plan. Come up. Come higher. So high. You, you can't, can't get over it. So deep. You, you can't get under it. So wide. You, you can't get around it. Oh, wonderful plan. So high, you can't get over it. So deep, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around it. Oh, wonderful plan. Then Paul says, when you pray, when I pray, my spirit prays. My understanding is unfruitful. Meaning, when you pray in tongues, your brain, you know, your brain, your understanding, manam kurangu, the mind, always jump to the whole world. That slowly become dumb. Your spirit Listen to me, the strength, the real strength of your Christian life is you are the strength of your inner man. How strong inside that will protect you from sin. Not the anointing that comes, Anna. I went to, I went to that man's meeting. New anointing! <laughs> shaking, shaking! <laughs> that anointing doesn't protect you when a beautiful wife, lady comes to you. Hey, how are you? I love you! Here? <laughs> that. <laughs> Anna, I had a lust problem. Lust, lust. Even when I see 85 years old lady, I look at it, Anna. What happened, Anna? Anna preached and curse. It left me, Anna! Wait, wait. Wait. After 20 days, when that girl comes, hey! The real victory is not anointing upon you. The real victory and strength is your inner man. When you pray in the new, new language, 
your spirit becomes stronger 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 in western countries every time when you eat they will ask you water or juice afar us even water problem you know this is a, really i tell you i am speaking the basic teaching if you don't know the foundation how will you build a higher ministry that's why many ministries collapses it's not how you begin a ministry how you are going to end it many ministries start that's why when young people anna miracle anna anointing anna anna i say yenna the problem is not with them the problem is with my age <laughs> i have seen so many people rising 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 shaking the whole world then they are shaken they are gone ministry is not how you start how you are going to finish you know why i couldn't come for few days in this school not to attack this and that mainly last week i prayed one week two weeks ago lord i believe no ministry should depend on one man if the pastor die congregation will break into 1000 piece that pastor is a failure when anna goes to heaven this baraka will go into 1000 times more yeah. write it down i strategically work with a plan i work i cry in my room i say lord this is not my vision this is not my calling you gave me the vision when i was very young praying what to do i was a missionary i was doing evangelistic work i was a singer i was doing everything but a time came what is god's dream real dream for my future when i was praying fasting 3 days the third day i had no energy because those days too many fasting so what happened on the third day i i couldn't get up <laughs> i was lying down and i want to pray i am so exhausted very young age then the lord said a great moving of the holy spirit will come in this world in the end time at that time thousands will come to the lord there will be a leadership scarcity you train leaders when the revival comes every believer will become a healer every believer will become a teacher from that day my ministry my 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 god superstar i am a superstar i am a superstar everybody look at me idhar udhar nahi dekho only mujhe dekho everything gone so i told the lord last month the lord the school of the holy spirit runs without me even if i don't go glorious ministry of course every day they put my video also now every my program is done without me it's a great success for me but that 10 days and the apostles meeting 5 days almost every day i preach lord i told the lord okay i believe in long life or even if i want a rest or if i had to go to god's place i don't know i said lord if i go will the people come to pundi so many or they say zekana you know why will they say that i said lord this is not my happiness 
this should increase god's vision should not die with god's man it should continue the man of god comes with a mission with an anointing with a vision with a calling when the man of god goes the ministry doesn't go the ministry stay here man of god go somebody must take it you parents listen when you are thinking about yourself you 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 and you demand from parent once when you get married very new and your honeymoon happy jolly going but once when you bring forth a child all your attention go to the child when the child grows you grow older 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 you carry the baby a time comes baby carry you then you all you think about is my son my daughter they must be settled they must be settled this family they must have children the generation must every other ideas goes if you are a man of god if you are in the ministry even if you have a small baby the time has come for you to become a father mother for the younger generation you have to pray lord who is next to me who will carry this vision show me lord show me lord raise the people when i come to you the ministry should not die lord it should go lord that should be your constant prayer i am not talking to everybody here but i am talking to everybody also so young i want to put that seed so i prayed lord can i take one day off one day teaching one day off one day teaching because it ministry see no did you miss me zero i felt very rejected i asked alex anyone ask me no one and i everybody is busy i prayed lord without me the ministry should shining then i began to feel rejection why people don't ask about me do they want to give me a voluntary retirement quickly why you are so blessed no session lack the anointing everybody is shining at the highest what a joy for a leader what a success for a leader that should be the attitude of everybody me 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 die 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 even in my younger days i started training people that's needed just think about it if i am not here what will happen to my church what will happen to the ministry think about it so i finish when i go to odisha the bible says don't mock at his prophets you are mocking at me so paul says he that prays in the language new language speaks to god not to men your main problem is you talk too much to men the more you talk the more you get a problem yaarala ketta norala ketta tamil in tamil they used to say a man is spoiled destroyed because of his tongue the holy spirit says can i take your tongue can i make it the tree of life what adam and eve didn't take i will give you that tree of life right inside in between the two lips that's my new language speak more the life of god will fill your inner man and paul says no one understands because he speaks mysteries to god secrets to god can i tell you when god shows his secrets to you 
your ministry will go in a higher realm. I never went to any theological seminary, but I have preached to the theological students in London. How do I read Bible? I don't read with a brain. I pray in the new language. I read. When I read, the same word. Uh, maybe I read it 20,000 times. But when I pray in tongues and read, it's the author, Holy Ghost. Take that word and give me a revelation. Immediately joy bubbles, tears roll. Life changes. Even now, when I read Bible, I can't read long time without tears. Even today. When I read Bible, tears will fall in the paper. Why? I don't read the word. I touch the spirit behind the word. My word is life. My word is spirit. That changes me. You give me the same scripture. Ask me to preach 10 days. I guarantee you, every day I will preach something new. And now why you talk about myself? I never talk about myself so long. Now I am old, I have to talk about myself so that you can understand the secret of the ministry. Sorry, I am not old, I am young. Bible says, the minimum man's life is 120. Bible says, and my wife says, that's it. Then who else to say? Bible says, my wife says, finalized. Ladies are very happy. Anna, let my husband hear this, Anna. <laughs> Don't worry, I am doing a favor. I don't respect a man of God if he doesn't take the wife's word serious. I don't respect. Sorry, no sorry. What happened? He speaks mysteries to God. Bible is a mystery for the human brain. It's a revelation for the human spirit. When you read the Bible in the spirit, in your spirit touches the Bible spirit, your life cannot be like that. Before you read, after you read, tremendous change will come. It's like so satisfying. When I pray in tongues, my spirit inner man is activated. And the word of God is a spirit. And my spirit and the spirit in the word, they both kiss each other. When they kiss, you miss nothing. You can take concordance and this study, that study, this study, that st I don't have that much brain to read all those things. I want to read, but I am not that smart. Listen. He that prays in tongues, pray in language, you speak mysteries. One hour, one hour, you and God talk secrets about the country, about the people who come to you. When people ask me appointment for counseling, nowadays I avoid. If they want appointment with me four o'clock, morning when I get up till four, 
whatever i do i will be praying in tongues lord i don't know what that person's problem is you know the answer i don't know the answer people put a big smile before you but the heart is so lonely and broken only the creator knows it but when you pray in tongues your spirit is tuned when a person comes you know what they need to hear in all my life one of the great success of my ministry is people come to me and when they go they cry joyfully ah my burden's gone god spoke to me ah na some people come when i entered into your room me and my husband thought we should not share this problem but i don't know now when we talk to you that's the first problem we talk to you that's the spirit when you pray in tongues you speak mysteries to god one is the bible mysteries are revealed to you another is your plan ministry plan whom to marry i never wanted to marry i only prayed in tongues if i have prayed in tamil or english lord give me a language this tamil girl this malayalam girl this a phd phd send somebody from north or south when i prayed in tongues the holy spirit and my spirit were praying i didn't understand they bypassed me the bypass road you know bypass road so the holy spirit and my spirit were talking tatalo sopateli soko bahela klat rota nunberg nia there is a lady in germany that germany will lady will be your wife tapatiri lokatile sopateli la hatara if i understood at that time my wife is a german lady i would have had heart attack because i was preaching to everybody never marry a white lady i was preaching thank thank god for praying in new language because i heard white ladies will not submit to the husbands as if indians are submitting they <laughs> at least outside they submit you know so i said white ladies will change the husband there are white ladies file a case i want divorce why my husband snores snoring divorce so i thought never if you pray for a indian lady to marry pray pray 100 times for the will of god but when you pray for a when you want to marry a western girl pray 10000 times that was my teaching believe me but thank god my thoughts are not his thoughts my ways are not his ways if i have selected a ministry i would have selected to be like benny hin reynard bonke but the ministry that he gave me is in a corner nobody knows pundi have you ever heard about that jungle do you see any everywhere a theater and shops mall because i prayed in tongue i never prayed in my language for my marriage i didn't want to marry I said I am happy with Jesus. I was busy for God. I never prayed Lord give me a wife like this like this like this like this. Thank God I didn't pray. I was praying in tongues. One time I read about Kenneth Hagin. Kenneth Hagin never wanted to marry. I was so happy very good. One day he was praying in tongues. suddenly he prays for the marriage interpreting you can pray in the new language and you can interpret it in your own language 
Nobody need to help you. I do it many times. You can pray in tongues and you can ask for interpretation. You yourself can interpret. This is ABCD. Corinthian church teaching. So what happened? I am praying in tongues. When he was praying in tongues, suddenly he started praying for a marriage. He was shocked in English. What, 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 what? What is that English word come? I didn't want to marry. Why it come? Then he was praying for the, his two children or three children. And how many boys, how many girls? He was so puzzled. I didn't want to marry. Now it's son and daughter. Oh, the blessed prayer language. I can go on tell you, beloved. I am preaching for 50 years plus. And my leaders know I don't repeat my messages. One of the secret is praying in tongues. If you pray in tongues and you preach, first your wife will enjoy your preaching. Many wives get bored when their husbands preach. And the daughter, I know one pastor's daughter, when the father preaches, the mother, the daughter will say, Amma, now he will talk about Denmark story. He will start Denmark story. Amma, now he will talk about that bread story. He will talk that bread. So my wife used to preach, pray, Lord, how can I marry a preacher who preaches the same things in different place? I will be very bored now. Now you watch her, in the room she will be listening, word by word. One of the secret, I don't prepare, I read, I study, I am, but I pray in tongues more. When I pray, pray, pray in tongues. I get the message, I see the preaching points. Will you tell, don't tell publicly, eh? sometimes even my jokes, I get it in my tongues. Can I ask you, at least why not you start today, all these four days, five days, every time pray in tongues, Oh, praise the Lord, brother, how are you? Very good, nice to see you. Where are you from? Oh, you are from Udaipur. Don't need to shout. Sometimes I will be talking to you. How are you, brother? Are you nice? Very happy. Try. I started when I was a teenager. When I went to a hostel from my college, the town bus, I used to stand. The driver, conductor will come. Where do you want to go? Amen. <laughs> many times. Many times. The conductor will look at me. Where is Amen? <laughs> In my teenage, I used to go for the toilet. Sitting there, I used to pray, Then I will repent. Lord, in this place, I should not speak such a holy language. Forgive me, Lord. And after five minutes, forget. How many of you believe Christian life is easier than you think? Who asked you to break your mind? I am telling you, easy. Don't pray for your husband. Never pray for your wife. Lord, that is the per person must marry me in Jesus' name. I will give you the best reward. 
you are number one fool in the entire world. Pray in tongues. Kaha so pray kletra. Anna, what should I do? Maybe you want to pray for your marriage. Father, I want to pray for my marriage. But I don't know what to pray. If I pray, I will end up in marrying a Tamil girl and my life will be miserable. So you pray in tongues. He will hatho say, hatal ka hath men balbala. Then he will say, oh, this man needs a German girl. Not a Tamil, not a Malayali, not a Hindi, not a Marathi. Life becomes a blessing. Listen, Paul had the greatest revelation about the church, about the gifts, about the family, than anyone else among the apostles. He was a single man. He writes about the wife and husband. He says, this I say. No, this God says. See how beautifully he was able to discern what God says. Because he prayed in more time. I finish now. We will go back to Odisha. <laughs> Now people are thinking, it's, it's better Ezekiel and I didn't come all these days. He is talking, 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 talking. I want to fill my notebooks to preach in the next Sunday. Everybody say, when you pray in tongues, say it, when you pray in tongues, be very cautious. Be very cautious. Tune your spirit. Tune your spirit. To hear what God says. To hear what God says. When I pray in tongue, listen, I expect God to speak to me. Suppose if I have to preach today, I pray in tongues. Lord, you know what to pray. Hala so. Hapa. Kandala tondala tiriyatur patikala throta. I pray in tongues. My spirit searches. Do you know your spirit can search something when your brain doesn't search? Your problem is your Monday is searching more. Your head is running around. When you become a senior pastor, you become a senior searcher. What to do, 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 what to do. Anna, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Stop. Do nothing. So when I pray in tongues, scriptures are coming to my spirit in the imagination. You know what I do? I am praying. I should not read the Bible. Now it's a prayer time. Shut up. The Bible comes. This chapter comes. So I feel I should read the Bible. But I think prayer is higher than the Bible reading. So I push it. Suddenly, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. When the Holy Spirit speaks, it's louder. Not to others, to you. It is authoritative. It is very short, but very sharp. When I am just praying in tongues and the word comes, I push it, I push it, because I believed in those days, prayer is power. Now I changed my theology. Word of God is power. It changed my ministry. Now I don't pray. People are very upset. Prayer Without prayer, why you come and preach here? I don't pray my own words. Either in language, divine language, or I quote the Bible to God. Lord, Lord, I have the spirit of power in me. I have the spirit of your love in me. I have the spirit of sound mind in me. The spirit of fear I have not received. Thank you, Lord. So, 
I, I pray the Bible, not my own opinion. So I am pushing it. The Holy Spirit said, very clear word, Ezekiah, don't separate me from my word. Don't separate me from my word. I understood. Word and God are one. Much word, much God. Less word, less God. No word, no God. That changed my entire theology. Now what you do, Anna? I read a lot. I pray in tongues. I read it again. I pray in tongues. And I quote the Bible in my prayer. Now my own opinion, my own thoughts, my own ideas are saying bye-bye and me and God become one. God's love is so wonderful. Stand up. God's love is so God's love is so wonderful, oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So deep, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't go around it. Oh, wonderful everybody say God's plan for my life God's mission for my life God's mission for my life God's dream for my life God's dream for my life is so high is so high I can never grasp it I can never grasp it I throw I throw all my plan all my plan all my idea all my idea all my ministry in the natural energy all my ministry in the natural energy with the fleshly energy in the fleshly energy I throw it. I throw it. I get into God. I get into God. I hooked up with God. I hooked up with God. Get His revelation. Let His revelation. Get His plan for me. Let His plan get for his me. Get His strategy for me. Let His strategy for, for me. my family. For my family. For my children. For my children. For my ministry. For my ministry. For my health. For my health. For my future. For my future. What God says. What God says. He's higher. He's higher. I don't have any desire. I don't have any desire. Of my own, of my own, God's desire, God's desire becomes my desire. Becomes my desire. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God's plan is so wonderful. God's plan is so wonderful. God's plan is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful plan. Listen, this praying in tongues relaxes your mind. You don't need to take depression tablet. Pray in tongues every day. You don't know what is depression. Your brain will not be heavy. You become, you feel like a feather. You, you feel like a cork in the river. Life becomes easier. God says, after many years of ministry, you don't know how I get exhausted. You don't know. Everything is ministry, ministry, battle, battle, battle. But the only thing that refreshes me, Bible says, this is the rest. This is the refreshing. I will talk to my people through strange language, new language. That refreshes you, refires you. Your ministry will refire. No retire, refire. No retire, refire. No exhaustion, re re-energize. No dehydration, rehydration. That's when you start praying in the Holy Ghost. 
reading the bible praying in the holy ghost reading the bible praying in the holy ghost reading the bible you will go from glory to glory to glory haya 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 god's love is so wonderful god's love is so wonderful god's love is so wonderful oh wonderful love so high you can't get over it so you brought me here today and you didn't allow me allow me to teach a subject it's your ministry it's not my ministry i never want to interfere with what you want to speak what you want to talk what you want to do i have given them some of the keys they can be refiring themselves and they can download the revelations from heaven the churches and ministry can grow i thank you for the words that you put in my mouth i leave my people and the word i give it to your hand continue lord from today help them holy spirit to pray in the holy ghost to pray in the new language and open heaven revelations after revelation in the coming days let them know your plan let them know your heart let them know your burden let them capture your heart let them capture your vision and your mission which is far higher than all our own ideas own thoughts let the lives be transformed let the nation shake yangi chow great builders of churches mighty apostles mighty prophets mighty miracle evangelists miracle evangelists miracle teachers lord pastors with signs and wonder be released here families be changed bodies be healed minds be renewed be healed be healed in jesus christ mighty name be liberated liberated be free be free be free be free every burden every problem i curse you let people jump over it let people leap over it let their ministry begin your powerful ministry your powerful ministry your glorious family your real plan come to fruition come to fulfillment i bless everyone in jesus name